Hi, my name is Daniel and this week I'm gonna be trying to talk to an inanimate object for five days straight. So I've been watching movies on deserted islands and you know being the last man on earth and surprisingly they always end up talking to an inanimate object with a face on it. And after a while they get so emotionally attached to it as if it's an actual human being that if they lose that emotional sentiment is ripped out. So I want to see if I can get attached to an inanimate object within five days. So I'm gonna have to find something. Ta-da! This guy right here is gonna be my friend for the next five days. It's gonna be everything for me. I'm gonna try to be as emotionally attached to this thing as I possibly can. I'm not quite sure how the conversation is gonna roll out since I have never talked to a fruit before. Timmy, I'll call you Timmy. You look like a Timmy to me. Doesn't he look like a Timmy to you? My name's Daniel, nice to meet ya. How you doing? How old are you? Two years old. Wow, Timmy, you're pretty young and you're pretty good at speaking for being two years old. I, I actually I actually can't get serious with the camera on because I'm not even used to talking in front of a camera, let alone trying to talk to a fruit. You know, it's like I can't tell this guy my deepest, darkest secrets when y'all be looking at me like, what the fudge is wrong with this dude? You know what, Timmy? I'll tell you what I'm going through with my life right now. I'm trying to figure out whether I want to pursue a career that's risky, but is my passion, versus a career that's a lot more stable and has good income, but I'm not really passionate about it. No, it's not porn. No. Should Timmy have a voice? Timmy, should you have a voice? No, Daniel. I shouldn't have a voice. Oh. Why do you moan so much? I don't know. It's because I'm a fruit and I can't really talk and I'm a figment of your imagination and your imagination's weird and so you keep on moaning. Oh. Conversations that make people close. Given the choice of anyone in the world, whom would you want as a dinner guest? That's a good question. What about you? What do you want? Who would you want? No, no, it can't be the farmer that created you. He's probably dead. No. Okay, I'm sorry. For me personally, I would love to talk to any creator that have done YouTube for a very long time. Not this facade that people make up on YouTube platforms where they're like, Oh, my life, it's perfect! But they really kind of just talk about stuff and they're pretty interesting. Do you feel closer to me, Timmy? Oh, Daniel, I feel so close to you. You're my hero. Oh, Timmy. Isn't Timmy so sweet, guys? Oh, Daniel, you're the sweetest. Even though I'm a fruit, therefore I am actually, my organs are sweet. And your organs are probably sour and bloody and an iron tasting thing. Daniel, you're so sweet. <laughs> I am actually talking to him. You know, I'm kind of joking around right now talking talking to him in front of the camera because I'm just it's awkward but my mouse right now isn't working like this thing broke so I actually gave my frustration to Timmy like I legitimately got frustrated and I talked to him and I felt better you know right now I felt I feel exactly the same that I felt after talking to him for an hour I'm not usually really open about my feelings to other people so there's no way I'm gonna be open to my about my feelings to this guy after just talking to him alone I gotta figure out a way to really get to know him or really, really be attached to him within two more days. Otherwise, this experiment is gonna fail and I don't want that to happen. Right, Timmy? Right. All right, so it's day number three and I've been talking to Timmy a lot and it's actually gotten to the point where I'm actually kind of feeling uh, some sentimental value to him. Still the same, nothing crazy. I haven't had a super emotional event with them, maybe that's why. Usually you become friends with a person a lot faster when you go through a hard experience together. But nothing with Timmy. Like my life is too easy going right now for me to be feeling anything crazy. But one of the things that I do want to try is constantly trying to tell him my secrets and see if I do feel some sort of connection to him. Gonna keep going. Love you, Timmy. Oh yeah, I started kissing Timmy for some reason. That's a thing now. Bye. It's my last day with Timmy and right now I can't even go to my room because I know I'm gonna have to kill that mother fudger tomorrow and it's 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 hard. Oh, it's, it's hard. I'm kind of kidding, but right, I put my emotional effort into him, which this is something that I do often. I had to force myself to do it, but after I did it, 
now it's kind of to me it's our last night together until you die tomorrow <laughs> don't don't give me that face I'm, I'm gonna kill you no no I'm not keeping you <sighs> okay um it's T minus 20 minutes before I have to kill Timmy and I can tell you right now that I don't want to I've I've actually had a really good time with this little guy if, if people ever had like a pet iguana you know pet spider or whatever that never actually moves but you still feel some sort of connection to it well that's how I feel towards this guy right now you know, I told myself that I would eat him, not just kill him or throw him away, and I'm gonna commit to it. I want to see what happens when you are forced to eat your friend. You know, in certain situations, like if you're on a deserted island or if you're on a boat for so long and you have no source of food and one of your friend has to die and you have to eat him, they say that changes you forever. I know this isn't the same, I get it, but still, I'm gonna act as if it is like that. Say goodbye to the world, Timmy. Goodbye, world! <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. Alright. I'm gonna eat my Timmy now. I can't! I can't! <laughs> it's so stupid how I can't do it. Alright, bye, Timmy. Oh. He's being opened. Oh. He smells bad. Oh. Gosh, he's not even being ripped open properly. I'm so sorry, Timmy. I wish I could have killed you with one swing, but you're you're so you're so tough to kill. You okay, buddy? I'm as if you were to cook your pet dog, and it becomes nothing but meat. Timmy has now turned into nothing but a tangerine. Timmy, I hope I hope you taste good. Nope, you don't taste that good, man. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Obviously, I'm exaggerating a lot. You know, the, I think ripping him up was the hardest part, but eating him is actually not that bad. Nope, nothing. I feel nothing. I tried to feel something, I felt something a little bit, but right now, I don't feel anything. I've disconnected from it. It's weird. Oh, oh crap, okay. Another thing I've noticed just now, I've purposely detached myself from Timmy. For the past five days, I've constantly tried to connect with him and I always called him Timmy. And then now I start calling it a tangerine and a food and just an orange or like nothing but a fruit. That's weird. Interesting. I wonder if there's any psychological thing behind that or if I'm just overanalyzing at this point. Well, if you guys don't hear back from me, that's it. This was Timmy. Say goodbye to Timmy, everybody. Timmy, you had a good run of five days about without me eating you. I ate all of your friends, but I left you for last because I love you, my boy. For the next challenge, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but, but until then, bye-bye.